Hi, Miss Fisher here. So this is what I get to look like every day at school with my lovely mask. But I'm going to take it off now. Anyways, I just kind of wanted to show you guys what you're missing out on. I mean, masks are pretty cool. So we're going to go ahead and I'm going to try to do the math a little bit differently because I feel like it might be easier to see it up on the board like this. If you guys like this or don't like this, can you leave it in the comments on the Google Classroom so I can know and adjust to how you guys like the lessons? All right. Let's see. So we are on lesson number four. And on lesson number four, it says Anton made a tower five cubes high. Ben made a tower seven cubes high. How much taller is Ben Tower than Anton's? So when we're looking at this, we're reading and we're hearing how much taller, which is telling we're, we're going to compare the two different numbers. So we're going to go ahead and need to subtract. Because we're needing to subtract, we now know, well, we now know that we need to subtract, which is going to help us figure out how to write and solve the problem later on. So it says Anton made a tower five cubes high. So we need to go ahead and make Anton a tower that's five cubes. So we need to label our picture Anton and draw five cubes high. So one, two, three, four, and five. And our next person is Ben. Ben went ahead and drew it five cubes high. Not making much of a difference. Let me see one thing here. Then his seven cubes high. One. Here we have Ben's tower, which is seven, and Anton's, which is only five. I think that's going to work better. Sorry, guys. Let me rewrite that then. So now we need to try to compare these two towers. How many more does Ben have than Anton? One of a really great way to be would be to count on. So what do they both have in common? We can see they both have five cubes. They both stop at that five. So we're really just trying to count on five on. So we're gonna count on five. We're gonna go six, seven. And we counted on two more times. So we know that seven minus five equals two. So we were able to count on two times. We went, okay, we have the five, we're gonna count on six, seven. You could also draw it out if you wanted to and cross out. You can draw out the seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and cross out five, leaving two. Either or is fine, you can count on, or cross out. They'll give you the same exact answer. So down below, this is the part where we're talking how many cubes, and we need to put this in words, because here we have what's called a number sentence, but we need just a statement. That's a sentence with words, a statement. So we know that Ben has more, and we're finding out how much more Ben has two more. So we're gonna say Ben has more cubes than Anton. And there's our sentence statement. Okay, go ahead and pause this if you need more time. I'm going to go ahead and go to the next page. Today was a little 
is um, you ask for shapes, and I didn't add any shapes to your guys' bags, I'm sorry. So what we're going to have to do is kind of draw it out one shape at a time. So it says to use three triangles to make a trapezoid. What it's wanting to you to do is to use a um, equilateral triangle. And an equilateral triangle is a triangle that has three sides the same. So a triangle that kind of looks like that. So using three triangles, how do we make a trapezoid? So because you don't have the shapes, what I'm going to ask you to do is try to draw the shapes and then break it into the smaller shapes that it's asked you to do. So if we have a trapezoid, how can that be made out of triangles? So the first thing we need to do is try to imagine triangles in there. If I were to, please don't do this, I could go ahead and do a line like here, and that would give me a triangle, but it also gives me a rectangle. So it's not made out of three triangles like we need. So I'm trying to think of how to use that equilateral triangle to give me the three triangles. So I need to make a triangle. This is why pencil can be so important to help you do this. So I'm gonna try to make a triangle here. And by making a triangle here, I have one triangle down, but I need to have three triangles. So I'm going to continue, try to make another triangle over here. And by doing that, I now have one, two, three triangles in a trapezoid. Now this next one, it says four squares to make one large square. So the first thing we're going to need to do is to make one large square. How do we use four squares to make it? If you were to say just try to do four little squares in the corners, you still have all this space and you're not making it into the one big square. So what you're trying to do is trying to imagine how can you split it into four squares. Well, because it's four squares, four squares, we're talking about fourths. So we're going to try to make it even. So in order to make it even, the first thing we can do is try to draw it. We're splitting it in half. If we were to try to draw another line this way or this way, we're making more rectangles. So we're gonna stop and say, okay, right now I have two rectangles. How am I going to make two more squares? So you already split it in half this way and to make fourths, you're gonna split it in half again. So you're gonna take it from this corner to this corner. And if you're ever unsure, just lay some pencils on top and try to imagine. Well, that looks like four squares to me. I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line in between and now I have one, two, three, four squares. All right, if you're not done with these two, please go ahead and pause the video so you can go ahead and try to catch up. All right, looking down here at this next one, it says use six triangles to make one hexagon. So what I recommend is you draw your hexagon and then try to figure out how the triangles make it up. And hopefully you guys remember a hexagon is a shape with six sides. So the first thing we need to do is draw the hexagon. One of the easiest ways to draw a hexagon I think is to draw two parallel lines this way. Once you have your two parallel lines, turn your page. Then. Once your page is turned, go ahead and make like a triangle. Don't connect your triangle all the way, but just go ahead and make a triangle. Then go ahead and turn it the other way and make a triangle on the other side. And then once you have that, you'll have six sides. One, two, three, four, five, and six. Now it wants us to make, use it or make it we're using six triangles. So go ahead and do a dot in the center because you're gonna have to split this up. So you're gonna put a dot as your center and it'll allow you to help split. When you're talking about trying to split things into equal parts, um, one of the greatest things is think of like a pizza. When you have a pizza, when you have a pizza, you don't just curve out pieces of it. We have a pizza, you're gonna take lines across. First you maybe make it in half, maybe in corners, 
and you can take it like this. But either way, you're drawing straight lines to split it up. And that doesn't change for the hexagon. So we're going to try to take straight lines and split it up. So I'm going to go from this corner to this corner down here. And from this corner to this corner up here. And then split it down the middle. And if you check that out, it is a hexagon made out of six triangles. Ta-da! All right, this last one is a little more complicated. It wants us to use three different shapes to make one shape. It's going to want us to make another hexagon. So to make this hexagon again, go ahead and draw out your hexagon, make your two lines, turn your paper, and make your two triangles. Now that that's done, I have my hexagon. It wants me though to make a hexagon using a trapezoid, a rhombus, and a triangle. So that's three very, very different shapes. One of the easiest ways to do this is to knock that hexagon right out of the park. If I were to draw the line here, what I've got is a triangle and then another triangle and a square, which isn't exactly what it wants. It wants me to use, make a with a trapezoid. So I can't do it here and split it down the middle. I can't do it here and connect the dots. So I'm gonna try to do it this way. And if I do it like this, hopefully you recognize what these two are. And they are both trapezoids. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw a line down the middle. Once I have that, I have my trapezoid done, I just need to figure out how one trapezoid is made out of a rhombus and a triangle. So, one of the easy ways to do this is think, it wants me to use equilateral triangles, triangles like these. So I need to make an equilateral triangle. So I'm gonna go ahead and draw my equilateral triangle. Now I have a triangle and a trapezoid, and this right here is a rhombus. I am gonna color in each of the different shapes so you can kind of see them a little bit better. We have an orange triangle here, or I mean a red triangle, an orange trapezoid, and a white rhombus. So hopefully that makes it stand out a little bit more and you can really see the difference between all three shapes. So if you're ever not sure how to make the shape or put it together, a lot of it can be trial and error and practicing. I'm sorry I didn't get the shapes in your guys' tubs in time. I didn't realize you would need the shapes for this until I was reading through the lesson. All right. This next part on the back of the page. Oops. Oh. Oops, that went through a little bit more than I thought it would. Has some more information. Now, for number five, it says, make a rectangle using the squares from the pattern blocks. Trace the squares to show the rectangle you made. Well, if we're going to make a rectangle using squares, the first thing we can do is draw one square. So I'm gonna go ahead and just draw a square. Now, obviously this isn't a rectangle yet, but if you have this and you're trying to think, hmm, how am I gonna make a rectangle? Well, this is great. This is one of the easier ones. If we add just one more square here, we have a rectangle. And if we add another square here, we have a rectangle. So you can add it either way. So you can do two squares to make a rectangle. This way or this way. And there you have it, a rectangle. All right, now it says how many squares do you see in this rectangle? This is where it can get a little difficult and I recommend you guys grab your colored pencils to help you solve this problem. It's gonna really help if you have different colors. All right, so to start, a really basic way to see how many squares there are is we can see these basic squares, the little squares here. Let's count out how many squares
squares are here to begin with? How many of those little squares there are? Let's see. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, whew, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we have 24 little squares. But that's not the only squares in here because we can use the little squares to make some squares. This whole thing is a rectangle, so we can't count that as. But if we look at here, we can, just like on this other side, where you took four to make a square, we can take this to make a square. One, two, so this is one square, this is two squares, three, four, five, and six. So looking at the green part, we can make six squares. But there are other ways to make some squares. Yay, more squares. We can go ahead and look at some squares here. One, two, and three here in the blue, in the middle. And then, using the red, I'm gonna show a different way you can make square. You can make a giant square. So if you have one, two, three by one, two, three, that's still a square. Here you have one big red square and another big red square. A lot of squares. So that's two. But then you can go the other way. This fish are enough with the squares. I know, I'm sorry guys. And then you can take it through this way and make some big squares this way. And that's two more. So all together, we're able to find 24, 3, 2, 6, and 2. So 24, we're going to count on 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, and then we're going to say 30, 31, and then we're going to do 6 more. So 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. So we can find 30, seven squares. However, if you just do it this way and say there are 24 little squares, that is acceptable as well. You can just say there are 24 little squares. However, if you're looking at it and trying to see all the different squares you can make, that's as many as I can find. Maybe you guys found more. If you did, please let me know how many you found. All right, this last one for this problem set. Use your pattern box to make a picture. Trace the shapes to show what you made. Tell a partner what shapes you used. Uh, so you can't really share what